Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. Fisher. How are you? Hello, Mr. Hammerstock. When did you get over? <laughs> Just now. I had a cable from Mr. Powers. The conference is my first assignment. Well, an ironic assignment for your first one. A peace conference, the shadow of war. You mean it's really coming? Today and tomorrow will tell. There's still hope for us. I'm going back to London today. Leaving for London? Well, I only just got here. I mean, the conference is just beginning. I think that today and tomorrow the work for peace must be done in London rather than Amsterdam. Well, are you taking your whole staff back to London with you? I mean, even including your... Oh, no, no. I have someone staying here who'll look after you and see you'll give them all the help you need. You'll be in very good hands. Ah, here she is. Mrs. Appleby, Mr. Haverstock. Of course, he led us to luncheon. You remember Mr. Prisitical, don't you? Oh. Nice, but I still can't understand Dr. Williamson, this is Mr. Hunter Haverstock, who represents the New York Globe. He's a little unfamiliar with Amsterdam and the machinery of peace meetings. Would you be so good as to take him under your wing? Perhaps you or Mrs. Appleby might see that he samples eight or ten varieties of Dutch cheese at dinner tonight. Mm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must see what unlucky first is going to give up his seat to me on that London train. Mm. Don't get into any mischief, will you? Mischief? Your first visit to Amsterdam? Uh, yes. Well, then you must let me take you to Rembrandt's house, and of course that you'd feel the... It might be a good idea if you went over the agenda of the conference, Mr. Haverstock. Well, no. If you'll excuse me, I think I see a friend. Mr. Van Meer, how are you? We somehow seem to lose each other day before yesterday. I'm so sorry you were called away. Well, don't you remember me? We shared the same cab together on the way to the luncheon. Excuse me. May I have your picture, Mr. Van Meer? Thank you. 